Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make your own very own setting spray and um, this is very tested and trusted and that's what I used on my face so let's get on to the video so you can see how it works. So guys today I'm going to be teaching you how to make your own setting spray within your house, in your room, in your kitchen, anywhere and um, I learned this um, quite a, a long time ago about Three years ago, at a master class I had with Bibi Beyonce or Bibi Beyonce makeup, um, she's a popular makeup artist here in Nigeria. I learned how to make setting spray from her master class, and that has saved me ever since. Like sometimes when I'm out of setting spray, all I do is I just make it. Or if I don't have money to buy setting spray, I get all of these items within my room and I make a new setting spray for myself so I can use on my face. So far, so good. The Certain sprays I've been making have been helping me out. I've never had any breakout and I have sensitive skin. I never had breakouts and they last me a longer time. And I still buy normal setting spray or like setting spray because obviously you want to use that for your client and also like to just have setting spray. But just in case during this quarantine you're in your house, you can't have anywhere to order makeup or they're not delivering makeup to you or makeup stores are not open can just make this setting spray in your house and use it and it's tested and trusted. I've tested it, I've trusted it. So yeah, let's get down to it. For this video, you're going to be needing a couple of things and they're very easy, don't be afraid. The first thing you're going to need is an empty setting spray bottle and I'm sure you already have that if you already had an old setting spray bottle. And if you do not have, do not fear, you can always get an empty container that has a spray inside that you can open and put things inside. But please let it have been, it should have been for something related to skin. You can't use like things like all those, I don't know, things that are not related to skin. So you don't break out, that's for your own good. But if you can wash it well, perfect. You are also going to need aloe vera gel. This is very, very, very unnecessary. You don't need it at all. But later on in the video, I'm going to teach you how and when I use aloe gel and whenever I do not. You can get aloe gel at a skincare, um, skincare store or you can get it online I got mine from my aunt and yeah that's what I've been using pretty much since you're going to need rose water rose water um, you can use the rose water that has glycerin or you can get rose water and you can get glycerin but what I want to do I want to give a disclaimer whenever I use the rose water that has glycerin in to make my setting spray I always notice that my skin becomes a little bit oily on time rather than when I just use normal rose water and water you're also going to need water and the water that I'm talking about is not like tap water because this is something you're going to be using on your skin I'm talking about bottle water, pure water, yes, you can use pure water so yeah, I'm glad that I'm about to start this video finally so let's get out to the video and I'm going to show you how to make setting spray you can follow me on my social media handles you can follow me on Instagram at mychaskia Snapchat at mychaskia and I'm also on Twitter with the same handle um, what else do I want to say? There's really nothing much to say. So guys, this is the bottled water that I'm using. It's distilled water. I'm also going to be using aloe vera gel. This aloe vera gel is 100% gel and has no additives and nothing at all. That's the price at which she bought it. So yes, we're also using rose water. The rose water is from Gazao Beauty. I like this rose water a lot. It's lasted me a long time. And then perfume. Obviously, I'll tell you what we're going to use perfume for and obviously an empty bottle. This empty bottle is what we're going to use to create the setting spray. This is the old setting spray I made that has just aloe and water and this is my lifesaver at the moment. So this is the first way to make a setting spray. Watch and be blessed. I'm just adding aloe vera gel into this and I'm making sure the aloe vera gel is not too much and it's not at the same time not too small because we want to make it about 1% aloe gel and 99% water setting sprays and 99% water so that's the amount of aloe I'm putting and I'm just pouring water into the bottle to fill it up to the brim and thereafter I'm going to close it up and shake and once you start seeing the bottle moving the, the bubbles coming up you just know that the aloe vera is already mixing with the water and you need to make sure it looks like this so that it's good enough for you to spray now I'm sure you'll be asking after how if you add all these things how would you know if it is good you see I'm spraying my hand with the aloe vera gel because I want to make sure that once I spray it my hand is dry so once you spray it after you make it you need to make sure that the thing dries on time if it doesn't dry on time then since you didn't get it right this is just the first side this is the second type of way to make your setting spray using just rose water adding it to 
quarter semi 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 of the bottle then you are pouring water into it to fill it up if you see the level i put it i made sure that the settings the rose water was not too much in it and i'm also going to shake this as well and that setting spray just rose water and water yes it's that easy the same method you will use to find out if it is working or not now i'm just going to add perfume into the setting spray to give it a good smell this is not actually composure as you can actually use essential oils as well so you can see i sprayed it on my hand and now he has a good smell i love 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 having that perfume around me now there's also another way where, that you can also do this after you have made your two setting sprays or you've made it however you want to make it you can also go ahead and add aloe vera to your just rose water and water that's just to make it feel like really nice that's what i'm going to be doing now i'm opening the one that we already made remember we made just rose water and water and i'm adding aloe and i'm not adding so much i'm just putting enough and i'm just going to shake it and then i'm just going to have another setting spray so basically yeah that's how i made my setting spray guys if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to share this video and share it with your friends video guys i hope this video was helpful and if it has helped you in any way please don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe hit the like button and also put on the notification so whenever i post new stuff you are going to be the first to see it. like i said in the video earlier i have been using this setting spray routine for the past three years whenever my setting spray runs out and during this quarantine period obviously my setting spray ran out and i was just like damn and i made two new bottles of setting spray and i was like why don't i share with my subscribers and all my followers how i have been surviving i know a lot of you have stopped doing makeup or some of you have like reduced um how you do your makeup because you don't have setting spray and your face tends to look whiter but not to worry this is going to be a hack this has no way made me have any reaction or anything no it's been perfect for my skin i actually use it before and after makeup so my makeup can last a bit longer so if you use any of this if you use the aloe gel and just water it's still good setting spray if you use water rose water aloe gel and perfume it's still perfect for your skin anyone is good if you have oily skin like i do you do not want to put glycerin like i said before if you have dry skin good put glycerin with your rose water and your water so i hope this is helpful like i said before um it was nice having you guys on my channel bye